At this year's Fully Charged Live, I was blown away by the amazing technology that was on display. Obviously, all the electric cars, but also the home energy stuff. Incredible array of stuff there. And, very importantly, electric car chargers. And one of the companies that was uh, exhibiting at Fully Charged Live was Easy. And I could tell when I walked past their stand, they were very, very busy. This is an Easy Charger. And let's see how easy it is to use. Let's pull that down. Plug that in. I'm just going to wait till it switches on then. There we go. That's how easy it is to use. So I've come here to our studio to have a little chat with the folks from Easy. So thanks for coming along today, Charlie. Really nice to meet you. Uh, for those of our viewers who aren't aware of Easy, can you tell us, you know, where the idea came from, what it is, what's going on? Great, yeah, thank you very much for having me today. Uh, it's great to be here. Um, EC was founded in, in Norway in 2018. And uh, as you know, Norway is a country where the EV adoption is, is the largest in the world. And so the three founders, they got together and their idea was to make the smartest EV charger in the world. And um, basically that's to back up the strap line that we have for the company, which is shaping the future of electricity. Right. So, you know, that's connected to the grid, more EVs, more dependence on the grid. So the idea was get smart devices out there so we can make them work with the grid. Right. Um, and so in the UK today, we have two main products. Well, we have the, the EC1, which is our domestic version, uh, sort of, you know, it's got seven kilowatts of power. And um, we then have the commercial version, the commercial version has got 22 kilowatts of power uh, and uh, it's really good for, you know, office blocks or flat blocks. Right. Um, and um, the cool thing is they're all the same size. Right. So that so I wouldn't be able to tell from looking at these which was the, the domestic. They look the same, essentially, do they? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So talking about the hardware now over here, we have uh, the, the charge berry. Uh, that's what we call it. That's sort of the main power unit, right. um, but it's part of three. So we have a back plate, which is where, the, where this clicks into. Right. We then have the front cover over there and then we have the hardware here. Um, the hardware is, uh, you know, it's completely adaptable. So it works with all the EVs out there. Uh, and it also uh, learns the electrical supply, so you can connect it to all the electrical supplies in the UK. Right. Um, and it's also weatherproof, you know, designed for the outside. yeah, designed for the Norwegian weather. So right. anything the British weather throws at it, it's going to be fine. <laughs> and also, I noticed it's very compact. I mean, you know, my other chargers, I've got pretty big boxes. This is really small. Yeah. So you know, the charger was designed with sustainability in mind. So it actually only weighs 1.5 kgs, right. and it's about the size of an A4 piece of paper. Yeah. Um, and um, it's yeah, it's a uh, really really lightweight. It's sort of you know packed in this box over here, which is designed to uh, fit more boxes on one pallet, so there's less carbon in the shipping. Right. Um, and um, yeah, it's uh, completely IP54 rated, so you can leave it outside and it'll be okay. So well, a lot of chargers now have, have quite smart software in them. So what, what is special about the, the Easy? Yeah, so we've, uh, we've crammed quite a lot in. It comes with a, its own eSIM, which provides you 4G connectivity. And it also has Wi-Fi, so you can connect it to your home Wi-Fi. And um, alongside that, we also have got 11 sensors inside the unit with intelligent temperature monitoring. So, for example, each one of these pins here monitors its own temperature to make sure that it's being maintained and looked after. Uh, and additionally to that, it all connects to the cloud. Right. So once it's in the cloud, it means that we can check on it for you. There's remote diagnostics. So, you know, our help team can support you with the click of a button uh, instead of, you know, waiting for an engineer to come out to site and check the charger and sort it out. Um, and uh, the other side of it uh, is that the charger has an LED strip on the front, just along the lines here. And um, that LED strip actually gives you information about what's going on in the charger. So, you know, if something's wrong, trust me, you'll know. Right. <laughs> and does it also it, it, like visually tell you that the, the vehicle is charging? You know, that reassuring sign you go, oh, it's, I know it's working. So uh, it's actually got a pulsing right. EV light. Uh, so basically it starts at the bottom and it grows up in brightness and then it repeats. Right. So it's got that sort of breathing feel to it. Right. Now, I notice there's no sort of obvious buttons on the outside of the, of the, of the charger. Is that, is that because it's controlled by an app? Yes, absolutely. So every charger comes with access to our EC app. Uh, and the, the focus with the app has been, you know, to keep it simple and clean and sharp so that it's easy to use. Um, and it's available, of course, on, on Android stores uh, or Google Play and on the Apple App Store. Um, and the, char the, the app actually 
provides you with the standard features, you know, stop, start, and all that sort of stuff. Um, but it also gives you additional things like scheduling. For example, if you have a smart tariff at home and you get cheaper energy at a certain time, you can rig up your schedule for the charger to meet that. And therefore you can charge when it's cheapest. Right. Um, and additionally, on top of that, we've also got um, sort of the ability for the charger to work with, with operators. So you can get additional services on top of the unit. Uh, so we call these partners. Um, and through the app, basically, we also have the feature to make the unit uh, a tethered unit or an untethered unit at right. the toggle of a button. And what that means is, you know, you can ask it to keep its cable plugged in when you right. leave home and then you just hang it up. Or you can have it that it lets the cable go and you take the cable with you. Right. Um, and one last feature that's really fun, actually, is that you can decide to lock the charger. So if someone else comes along and tries to charge your house, let's say, um, it actually won't allow energy to flow right. because you haven't allowed it so. Yeah. But then when you get home, you could unlock it and therefore you just plug in and charge starts right. to flow. So I noticed there's different colors here, Charlie. I mean, is, that, is there a choice of, of, of cover color? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Well spotted. <laughs> so uh, the idea with the covers is that we want you to in, uh, make your charger a little bit more personal. So some people like to align the color with their car. Some people prefer to make the color fit better with the wall of their house. Uh, so there are five colors available. We've got uh, red, gray and, and blue here today, but we've also got black and white. Um, and um, yeah, so far we've had a lot of positive response because the charger can be customized. But at the moment, we're really talking about the kind of domestic chargers that you put on the wall of your house or in your garage or whatever. But then the business option is, I mean, I know a lot of people who watch this will be interested in that, that you could put chargers in your car park. And I think business is probably going, oh, what, what do we use and how do we get people to pay for it? Or do we make them pay or all those options? But you've presumably got that. It sounds like you've You've got that covered. Yeah, we're, we're doing our best in that department. Uh, we would say that for commercial size, uh, you should use our uh, commercial unit. We call the EC Charge. Uh, so this is a more powerful unit, but it also allows for load balancing. So you can connect up to 101 of them uh, on one circuit and they'll, and they'll share the charge amongst themselves. And so this is ideal for you know, a, a large office block where not everyone needs to charge really fast. Yeah. Um, but then the other thing usually that comes with that is how do you do the access control? Yes. So then we now have RFID. You can tap and start with an RFID. And, and then that you, would be actually on the unit, would it be a separate? Right here in the front, oh, right, just okay. below the LED strip, it reads the RFID. Right. Uh, and then to take that further, we, working with some of our partners, we also provide payment solutions. So you can start and stop the charge with something like Apple Pay. Right. Um, and then on top of that, you know, if we look at the fact that all the charges connect to the cloud, the, the fleet manager or the, the landlord can actually log in online and, and see who's been using what and how much energy. So there's a bit of administration capability as well. Because right. I mean, that would be, the, it, it's so much, such an important next step is everywhere you leave a car while you're doing something else, you should be able to charge it there. I'm very happy to pay for that privilege, but you know, that's what you, you, you know, I don't want to, I never wait to charge a car. I plug it in and go and do something else. And I think that's, that anything that facilitates that in more places is brilliant. Yeah, it's in the name. It's easy. <laughs> I walked straight into that one. <laughs> but that, so that, but also that is fascinating. The 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 fact that you can have, you know, when people are worried maybe about their power supply, that you go, well, if I have all these cars plugged in, it's going to melt my office. But you've got software that will control that, so you, you know it will share that load amongst a lot of cars. And we also have, uh, in the commercial sense, we have an additional device called the equalizer. And what that does is it monitors what the building has available in terms of power, right. and it can offer the spare power to the chargers. But then, of course, you know, if you are, let's say, at a manufacturing office and suddenly the power consumption goes up, that device will slow all the chargers down right. or bring them to a halt. Right. So you've kind of got them low balancing between each other and they're also then low balancing with the building. So Charlie, what are the next steps then for Easy? Because clearly you've, you've achieved quite a lot already. Well, oh. Where does it go now? <laughs> Thank you very much. So what's next for us is we want to bring out the equalizer, as I was mentioning in the commercial sense, but we want to bring it to the domestic space. Right. So now your charger can balance with your home. So if you turn on the oven and you turn on the dishwasher all at the same time, the charger will say, OK, hang on, I'll slow down a little bit just to keep your house fuse safe. And then after that, we also want to look at solar. So we want to enable our, our, our drivers out there to charge their cars from their solar panels. And so this is a really, really cool feature that the market's quite used to. And, and we'd like to, to introduce that as soon as possible. So where can people go to find out more about how to get them and how to get them installed and what they do and all that? Yeah, I mean, it starts with just visiting ec.com, E-A-S-E-E.com. That's pretty simple. That's pretty straightforward. We like to think so. <laughs> 
So thank you very much, Charlie, for explaining that. It's really interesting to see what EC are doing. And what I really noticed at our live show at Fully Charged Live was the amount of people around your stand. It was clearly you were very, very busy there. So, so good luck with it. It's really exciting technology. It's what we all need. Um, that's all we've got time for for this, but all the links to EC and to everything we do on the Fully Charged Show are uh, in the description box beneath this video. And that's it. Please join us again soon, but if you have been, thank you for watching.